Hi, I'm Chef Louis DiBacari of Subtle Terra Restaurant, located in Boston's historic Back Bay on Boylston Street at the Mandarin Oriental Hotel. Today we're showing how to prepare a simple, rustic, family-style chicken dish called chicken pot de fou. And the way this dish is designed to work is with seasonal ingredients. Chicken's a very versatile protein and works well with lots of different combinations of vegetables and starches. Right now we're getting a lot, most of our produce from Apple Street Farms in Essex. Uh, some of the vegetables we're using right now are baby radishes, turnips, uh, fingerling potatoes, and cauliflower, uh, as well as fresh herbs like basil and tarragon and mint and oregano. Uh, the combination of all these flavors together with a little bit of cayenne pepper and some butter right under the skin of the very lean chicken uh, contributes great flavor to the chicken while it's roasting in the pot with all of the vegetables. I'll show, you again how, I'll show you how to make that butter right now. We use unsalted butter in the restaurant. As to not impart uh, salt in any places that we don't want to add salt to. We can always add salt later on like we do here with this, with this compound butter. Fresh herbs we chose for today are tarragon, mint, basil, parsley, and some oregano, and a little bit of cayenne pepper. Doesn't make the dish spicy hot, it just makes it interesting and complex. It adds another layer of flavor in there. The beauty of a compound butter, as you can see, is how quickly you can put one together. It takes almost no time at all. And they store so easily, you can put them in a freezer, in a refrigerator, and use them for many different purposes afterwards. The chicken uh, is a very delicate protein, so what we try to do is manipulate the skin without tearing the skin. Uh, for this, we just use our fingers, and you can see you can fit almost your whole hand right underneath the skin of one breast and slip it very gently into the other. And do the same thing to both sides. Take it one step further, we like to find an opportunity to season the legs as well. So work down to the bone on the thigh and the drumstick and again repeat for both sides of the chicken. From here, we gently place our butter inside the skin, and with the back of our finger on top of the skin, we just slide the butter right off and press down. And repeat for all four areas where we made room for the compound butter. To keep that butter, keep that butter in there, we're going to tie the legs. Trussing is a, uh, is a technique that is, can sometimes be a little bit difficult for people, uh, including professional cooks. So what we do is we just tie the legs up really simply, just to force pressure. There you go. Those Boy Scout activities are really paying off now. Come underneath the chicken with a, a longer thread of string. And what we're trying to do is just fasten the wings to the bird. Nothing, nothing fancy, no fancy knots, just a simple tie right there. Now for the cooking techniques, we're actually going to cook, start the chicken separate from the vegetables. We're going to finish this just pot of food style, but we're going to begin it uh, in separate areas of the kitchen. The uh, vegetables are going to be done uh, sautéed stovetop to start them, and the chicken's going to be done uh, started in an oven. We're going to cook this chicken at 400 degrees for the first 20 minutes, and then we're going to remove it from the oven, set it in our pan with our vegetables, baste it with some chicken stock, and we're going to finish it for another 25 minutes until it's perfectly done and moist all the way through. Let's do that right now. So your chicken is in the oven. At this point, you have 20 minutes to kill. If you're doing this at home, you're probably sitting down to watch Oprah. If that's the case, please get up after the first set of interviews and start your veg, or approximately 15 minutes. 
because we want to saute the fish for about five minutes before we're going to pull our chicken out of the oven and combine it with our, our sauteed market vegetables to finish our pot de foo. Um, we, use, uh, we use olive oil here at Sel de la Terre, but regular vegetable oil will work fine. We want to get a little bit of a smoke point on this, and then we're going to take all of our vegetables at once, uniformly cut to about the same size. The reason we also use baby veg is that it's all about the same size and has about the same cooking time. And we're gonna season here with just a little bit of kosher salt. Not gonna do too much to the vegetables, remember. These are farm fresh vegetables. Most of these were pulled out of the ground this morning, so we don't want to manipulate the flavor too much. Right now they're at, they're at their perfect peak flavor. We do, however, want to get a little bit of a glaze on these, which is where the chicken stock comes into play. What we want to do is as soon as we see a little bit of color forming here on our vegetables, we want to introduce a few ladles of chicken stock just to wet the vegetables and get a glaze going. From here, we're going to allow the chicken stock to reduce around the vegetables, forming a little bit of a glaze. When it's time to introduce our chicken to the pot of foo, we're going to create a little home here right in the middle, just a sort of a landing pad in the middle of our pot for the chicken to sit in nicely and evenly. And the vegetables will create a barricade around the chicken, helping to keep it centered in the middle of the, of the pot of foo pan. And then we'll take this whole composition and we'll slide it right into our oven so that the, the flavors of the vegetables and the chicken all marry together and contribute to, to the flavors in the dish and create one really outstanding uh, chicken dish. Now our chicken is out of the oven. Preliminary stage is over. It's cooked for 20 minutes. Nice golden skin on it. And our veg are beautifully caramelized but not quite cooked just yet. So. We're going to sit the chicken right here in the pot of food pan, surrounded by this, this barricade of beautiful seasonal farm fresh vegetables. And now we're going to slide the whole composition right into a 350 degree oven for the next 20 minutes to finish the cooking process. This is Sel de la Terre's version of chicken pot of food. Please come visit us in the back bay and ask for Chef Louis when you get here.